Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm sharing everything I've made in the month of May. Hey, welcome back. If this is your first time here, this channel is all about sewing inspiration. If that's something that interests you, make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I upload a brand new video. Didn't do too much sewing in the month of April, but I did sew an Easter dress and I'll post that right here. Butterick 6676 turned out to be my Mother's Day dress. It's a semi-fitted bodice with a beautiful A-line skirt and ties in the front. I love this dress. I love the fabric, first of all, which is from Joann's, and I found it in the section of where they sell the denim. This dress was a quick make. There are darts in front and in back. This pattern has cup sizing for better fit. This pattern only comes with back facings and they wanted you to use bias tape to finish off the openings. I chose to draft a all-in-one facing, which uh, just makes for a much cleaner look at the neckline and in the arm openings. At first putting this together, I found the back bodice much too long and I got the dreaded zipper hump in the middle of the back. Uh, so I had to, uh, I took the dress apart at the waist, completely off, took the zipper off and uh, took off about an inch, started an inch in the center back and graduated to almost zero at the side seams. And at the back, uh, you know, I still have a little bit of a hump, but it's not as pronounced as it was when I first made the dress, but I didn't care. I threw a shawl on and I loved my Mother's Day dress. I used a blind stitch, a machine blind stitch for the hemline. I just love the feminine feel of this dress. Next up is New Look 6630. I worked on View D. I really love the fun print on this one. This was another quick make. It's a very easy sheath dress with, again, uh, shaping darts in the front and the back. It's got the 20 inch zipper. This one actually came with an all-in-one facing um, and you used sort of a burrito method to, to get that all complete. I really love the clean look at the neckline and the arms uh, openings for it. I had to take it, bring it up about an inch at the waist for that to fall correctly on me. I love the Miami print. It was a uh, find it uh, Joanne Fabrics in the specialty cotton section. The dress is so comfortable. Wear a strappy sandal if you're meeting some girlfriends for lunch or throw on some tennis sneakers if you're doing some running around. If you like these types of videos, give it a like and a subscribe so you don't miss the next video upload. With the leftover Miami fabric, I made two little girl dresses. Uh, this is the A-line dress by Thoughtful Creativity that she designed it for Dress a Girl. And this one is the Popover Sundress by Oliver and S. I'll have both those links in the information box below. Uh, with the I, This month, I actually even made little scrunchies to go with the dress. Um, these dresses though, the print on the dress has um, some wording on it. And so I'm not sure if Dress a Girl will accept these dresses but if not, there's a great church ministry where uh, there's a group of folks going to uh, the Dominican Republic. And I think that they will uh, just love taking along these dresses. The Miami dress got me in the mood for some vacation sewing. I sewed up Simplicity 8651. These are a drawstring paper bag short. This was such an easy make. You could do this in less than an hour. It's a great beginner's pattern and has really, really great uh, instructions. I chose this uh, very lightweight cotton, has um, sort of a uh, hound's tooth checked pattern to it. The, uh, the shorts do have pockets in the side seam. Uh, I chose to do the drawstring at the top and I did not hem them, I, I left the uh, serge den at the bottom. I love that look. And the, uh, the shorts, I think, fit me really well. I love them paired with a white tank top and some flip-flops, you're ready to go. Also, getting ready for vacation, Simplicity 8133 is a beautiful A-line skirt, a wrap skirt, 
that comes in various sizes. I worked on View D, which is the shortest one. I really love the way this one came out. First of all, it was another simple make. This is not even a Saturday afternoon you can make both of these pieces. This one uh, is, I'm going to use this as an alternative to shorts. I love the short skirt. I love it paired with the white tank top. Um, there's not much to say. It was just a, a very simple make. It ties in the front. There is a snap in the inside to hold the panels together when you first wrap it up. I also did not take the hem on this one and left the, the, the serge den on the bottom. I don't know. I kind of like that. It, it's like a relaxed look. The fabric is another specialty print, cotton from Joann's. This was a fun make. Simplicity 8390 is a one-piece pattern to make these pants that you, you get the uh, women's as well as the young girls size in this envelope. This pattern qualifies for the five below challenge, the hashtag five and below that Talisa from Creativity uh, did a couple of months back. I mean, one pattern piece, you cannot go wrong. And I paired it with new look 6035, the top view C on 6035. Fabric that I used was a uh, Walmart bundle that was sent to me by Sharon from Sharon Sews. The pants have a tie in the front, bias binding around the waist, and back darts. There are no side pockets. The envelope describes the pants as being worn one inch below the waist. But that was not the case for me. So I might, must be <laughs> shorter in the waist area because they seem to hit me right where I want them to hit me. The top takes one hour to put together. It's a front and a back neck binding and arm binding. There's a little bit of a, a, a gathering at the neckline. This outfit says vacation to me all over it. You can wear the top tucked in and it looks like a really comfortable jumpsuit. I, I, I also like the top uh, untucked for a really breezy, carefree look. My husband loves the outfit. He, it was so funny. He says, it looks like something that's sold on some of those home shopping network channels. I love this with a strappy sandal or flip flops. Hey, which was your favorite? There's more sewing inspiration in this next video. See you there.